Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera. So for this week, we are going to continue with reactions of alkin. So basically, you have three types of reactions. The first one is halogenations. Second one is combustions. And the last one is ring opening reactions. This one uh, is special for cycloalkin only, which is cyclopropene. All right. So let's start with halogenations. So halogenations reactions is a substitution reaction where an alkene will react with a chlorine or bromine at high temperature or irradiated by the UV light. So the hydrogen atoms from your alkene will be substituted with one atom of your halogens okay and then you will produce a substituted products all right so this reaction is also known as free radical substitutions reaction this reaction is called as substitutions reactions because we substitute one hydrogen atom okay with halogens atoms so if the halogen is chlorine so the reaction is known as chlorinations color you're going to bromines so the name of reaction is brominations so charade for these reactions you can either like at the heat at the uh, high temperature or the uv radiations right so functions uv radiations then you got uh heat name to provide the energy that can be absorbed by your reactant, which is in this case your alkene, all right, to produce a free radical. So for these reactions, you have a mechanism, all right. So before we proceed to the mechanism, so let me um, give you some example. Example, you have ethane, which is CH3, CH3, okay, dual carbon, so ethane. And then react with Br2, so you add the UV. So, kalau you nampak halogens and UV, so meaning that is halogenations reactions or bromination's reaction. What happened, the Br2 molecule is consists of two atoms, which is Br and Br. So, one of these Br atom, okay, from this molecule, will substitute one hydrogen from this carbon, either the first carbon or the second carbon it doesn't matter for these situations all right so what happened you just substitute can one hydrogen let's say i choose the second carbon one hydrogen dekat sini dengan satu br so tempat yang tak terlibat akan jadi benda yang sama so depan ni carbon depan ni tidak terlibat so maintainkan ch3 so carbon di belakang satu hydrogen akan ganti dengan br so ch2 remain and then you akan dapat satu lagi atom Br. Okay, kita substitutekan Br dengan hydrogens. So, apa yang tertinggal adalah satu atom Br. Okay, plus, plus ya. Dengan satu lagi adalah atom hydrogens yang dah disubstitutekan dengan Br yang dalam circle warna biru. So, that's why you dapat CH3, CH2, Br plus dengan H, Br. Okay, so another example, which is propane. So, plus with Br2 and UV also. So, this one point adalah bromination's reactions. So, apa yang you kena buat, actually, the first one you kena classifikan jenis carbon. So, carbon yang pertama, saya, tak apa saya letak A, B, C. Okay, A carbon attached to only one carbon, which is carbon B. So, carbon ni attached dengan another one carbon. So, dia adalah primary carbon. Okay, carbon B. Dia attached dengan dua carbon which is carbon A dan carbon C untuk membentuk bonding dia. So, attached dengan dua carbon dia adalah secondary. Okay, carbon C. Dia attached only dengan carbon B. So, bila satu dia adalah primary. Okay, so kita tengok balik contoh nombor satu ni. This one contoh nombor dua. Contoh nombor satu, let's say lah saya letak satu dengan dua. Okay, carbon pertama attached dengan carbon kedua. So, satu carbon dia adalah prime 
Rosemary. Carbon kedua attach only dengan first carbon. So dia pun attach dengan satu saja carbon. So dia juga adalah primary. So jenis carbon dia adalah satu jenis which is primary. Okay. Tapi untuk contoh seterusnya jenis carbon dia ada dua. Satu adalah primary. Satu lagi adalah secondary. So, if you have more than one type of carbon, so you can either more than one products. Okay. So, kalau macam ni, cari dia mudah je. Okay. So, you sudden balik. Okay, structure awak. Okay, CH3, CH2, CH2. Okay. Asal tiga, kita kena buang satu hidrogen sebab kita nak substitutekan dengan Br. Okay. Proses dia, yang first adalah you substitutekan Br pada carbon primary. Okay. Tak kisah whether this primary or this one. Okay. It doesn't matter as long as dia adalah jenis carbon yang sama. Which is primary. So, you plus lagi satu silent structure yang sama. Okay, so sekarang ni tadi dah attach pada primary. So right now nak attach pada secondary. So letak pada secondary. So carbon primary jangan ubah apa-apa. Okay, so sekarang ni you dapat dua product. Plus juga lagi dengan yang tadi macam tadi kita ada HBr sebab kita substitute kan dua. Okay, so... You dah dapat dua products. Bila ada more than two products and then dia punya type of carbon adalah berbeza, you can identify which one is the major product, which one is the minor products. So, antara primary dengan secondary, primary and secondary, okay, secondary lebih stable daripada Primary stability. So, kalau compound will be stable, meaning that more uh, product will be produced in the structure yang lebih stable. Okay. So, meaning that secondary lebih stable. So, ini adalah you punya major product. Atas ni adalah you punya minor product. HBR ni dia adalah by product. Okay. So, they not included. Okay. So, You check dulu, first step you check dulu sama ada you punya structure, uh, starting materials tu, ada tak lebih daripada satu jenis carbon. Kalau ada, you kena decide which one adalah you punya major product, which one adalah you punya minor products. So, another examples, okay. So, saya bagi structure, uh, skeletal structure je ya. Okay. Plus dengan Cl2 pula. Okay, ACBR je kan? So, Cl2. First step adalah identify primary, secondary, tertiary. Okay. So, carbon hujung attach dengan satu carbon, primary. Carbon tengah attach dengan satu, dua. Okay, so secondary. Carbon seterusnya, yang ini attach dengan satu, dua, tiga. So, dia adalah tertiary. Carbon di hujung ni attach dengan satu saja carbon, so primary. Carbon hujung sini pun attach saja dengan satu carbon, so dia adalah primary. So, bermaksud you either primary, secondary dengan tertiary. So, stability of carbon adalah tertiary paling stable and then followed by secondary, followed by primary. So, means that untuk structure ni, you ada three possible product. Okay, three possible products. So, it depends. Kalau dia just nak major plus minor, you can choose primary satu, tertiary satu. Okay, as your answer. But if the question asks you all possible structure, so meaning that you can look at primary, secondary and tertiary. So, depends on questions. Cara nak buat kalau skeletal lagi mudah. Okay. You silent balik structure. Tak perlu nak kurangkan hidrogen sebab skeletal structure, you tak tunjuk bilangan hydrogen. So, what you do, okay, adalah you nak buat untuk major, which is pada tertiary, carbon tertiary, tarik satu, letak Cl. 
for the minor products okay biasanya kita pilih yang paling uh, minor lah yang paling rendah which is primary alright so you look at balik original structure so this is you punya original structure so you can choose any primary carbon any okay tak perlu buat tiga-tiga kalau macam dalam this structure you ada three primary kan so just choose one tak perlu buat tiga so let's say lah saya nak letak dekat hujung atas yang ini so apa saya buat saya tarik satu and then I put CL this one for your primary carbon and then not to forget your byproduct which is kita guna CL so dia akan jadi H CL Okay, so next step, if you have more than one products, so you have to label which one is the major, which one is the minor. So since this one, CL, you put at the tertiary carbon, so this one akan jadi major products. So CL, you letak pada carbon primary, so this one akan jadi you punya minor products. Okay, so for these questions, okay, based on my answer, I consider this question only ask for the major and minor products. Ingat kelas kalau dia kata uh, all possible products so meaning that you can request untuk primary, secondary and tertiary. Semua produk yang boleh. Alright. So kalau kita tengok dekat note sawat yang belah sini. Okay. Dia ada uh, discuss on how CH4 boleh jadi CCL4. So this one is on the limiting and Excess reagents. So I give you one example. Okay, for example, okay, you add one CH4. Okay, and then untuk molecule Cl2, you add banyak. Okay, so anggap je lah ini lukisannya. Alright, so you add banyak. Have UV irritate on this reaction? So meaning that the reactions can occur. So, since you ada, okay, you only one CH4, okay, all Cl atom will attack this CH4. So, meaning that Cl2 is excess and CH4 is limited. Okay, so, bila dia limited, okay, dia akan react dengan Cl2 with UV one by one. Okay. Set, ingat eh, substitutions akan berlaku satu demi satu. Setiap kali reactions berlaku, hanya satu hydrogen atom will be substituted with only one Cl atom. Okay, so bila dia berlaku macam ni, so daripada CH4, dia akan jadi CH3, Cl plus dengan CH, uh, sorry, uh, HCl. Okay, so one molecule of Cl dah guna. And then you ada lagi Cl2. So, syarat dia adalah selagi ada hidrogen, selagi itu reactions boleh berlaku. So, CH4 dah tak wujud, dah habis. Okay, apa yang tinggal sekarang adalah CH3, Cl. So, ada hidrogen pada carbon, so selagi tu Cl boleh attack. So, dia akan berlaku continuous sampai lah jadi, sorry, CH2, Cl2 plus dengan HCl. So, this one dah guna. And then masih ada lagi hydrogen. So, boleh reactions lagi. So, you akan dapat jadikan dia CHCl3. And then you have another one, Cl2. Dan last kali you akan dapat CCl4. So, this Cl, okay, yang tinggal satu ni, tak boleh react dah. Kenapa? Because CCl4 dah saturated. Dah tak ada hydrogen yang dia boleh substitute. So, this reaction dah kira ataupun dah consider as complete. Okay, so CL ni tak akan react. Alright, kenapa? Sebab dah penuh. Tapi if let's say another conditions which is CH4 adalah excess tapi CL awal adalah limited. Okay, so I give you example. Okay, one CH4 atom will react with one CL2. UV. So, dia akan jadi CH3 Cl plus HCl. I will stop here because you don't have any Cl2 atom. Alright, so that one, bila Cl2 limited. Alright, so thank you. We will continue with the 
uh, mechanism.